Do you think he can draw the MotoGP track at Phillip Island from memory with a blindfold on? What do you think? You think you can do it? I don't know that they're convinced, Mick. I'm not sure. Are you convinced? Do you think you can do it? Uh, no, I'm certainly not convinced, but I'll give it a crack. <laughs> We're going to start at the start-finish line, so that'll be your point of reference. You can work that there. Have we got a blindfold on? No blindfold? Oh, wow. Oh, well, then we'll have to get Jack to put his hands around. So you make sure he can't see. So I would uh, start finish line here. So pit straight along there. That's, I reckon, a good point of reference. So you're going to start on pit straight, all right? Pit straight's your first one, and you're about to cross the start finish line. Here we go. Mick Doohan, drawing from memory. Not a bad look. What do you think? I know, he's I know, of, he's I know. I'm quite it, impressed here. Looping it around. That's what it looks like on the screen. So is oh. he getting close, Jack? Is he getting close? I think it's looking quite good, actually. Uh, well, he's been around probably eight million times, I would suggest, this particular piece of real estate. And how many of you have been down there to support him? Who's been down to MotoGP? How wow. good! It's awesome, isn't it? That is really good. That is very, very good. That is impressive. Look at this. All Let right. me just... Yes, here we go. Look at that! That's pretty decent. That is That's very... good. De now, obviously, doing corner is one of your favourite spots, but what are your memories of going around that track? I left half of my knee there one year, so that was... Uh, <laughs> so I've got good and bad memories, but, but look, it's a magnificent circuit for, for MotoGP bikes, and... Um, but, yeah, I was a bit surprised that I could actually join the dots almost. Yeah, yeah that was the impressive school. bit. You did, you were zooming it. around, you got yourself back on the Gardner straight. Well done, very, very well. Like, give me a big round of applause, it's a great effort! All right, now don't go too far away because yeah. you need to be doing... Can you reach up that high? He's a big tall... He's trying to have oh, a little look. No, don't, you can't look at, can't look at that. Right, so, same deal. Okay. Oh, hang on. Oh, you want it higher, don't you? Yeah. I don't think it does, sorry. I think that's it. So, same for you, start, finish line. And work your way around it. Here we go with Jack Doohan. He's gone. Okay, he's worked it that way. He's going to go around. Do -do 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 -do. Bit of think music for him. Working his way around. No, you're Coming. doing well. You're doing. Hey, no coaching, Ariana. You can't coach him. There it is on the track. He's actually getting quite close. Okay, I think you. <laughs> and then he didn't get quite close. You there started you. strong. You started strong, and then I. Yeah. That's okay, come on, give him a round of applause. We spoke to your dad about the memories of Phillip Island, but what about for you, because you're starting to create your own memories here around this particular track. Yeah, last year in Formula 2, we raced there, and it was an awesome experience. I always wanted to, to race here at Albert Park, and uh, to be honest, it's an amazing circuit. I really, really enjoyed it, and getting to drive around it again this morning was amazing. And what does it mean, obviously, to be here in front of these sort of people? Talk to us about what's going to unfold for you and for uh, your team and obviously for the other cars as well over the next 24 hours. Yeah, in the, this morning, obviously, we have free practice three, working as hard as possible to try and create a, a strong package for qualifying. You know, we've had a very rough start to the year, um, but we're just trying to, to get on top of things. Um, you know, there's no upgrades, obviously, in these first three rounds, so nothing you can really expect to, to change drastically, but we're just trying to make the most of what we got and put ourselves in the best position possible for tomorrow. Mick, how incredibly proud are you of uh, this young man? He's doing a magnificent job, so, you know, it's an incredible uh, achievement where he's got to sort of in such a short time, you know, so hopefully, um, hopefully it's, it's a very fluid paddock and it's, uh, it's a game of musical chairs, so hopefully we can find a chair with a seatbelt for him before too long. Yeah, these guys would absolutely love to see that. Thank you both so much for joining us up here on the Fan Zone stage. They've loved it. They've honestly been waiting for a while, saying, when are Jack and Mick coming? So thank you so much for joining us up here. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Everyone, please make some noise for Jack and Mick Doohan.